Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how to create an effect using Mr. Mercury. Uh, and here's what it's going to look like in the end product. Now I'm not going to teach you how to do the whole animation, just the part where the eye appears and disappears. We're going to have a single out for you right here. So this is the effect. Alright, so I'm going to teach you how to make this today using Mr. Mercury. Right, so first we're going to start off with a new composition. Comp4, you can name it whatever, I want to name it Mr. Merc. And, yep, that's all good. Background color. Okay. So, first things first. We have to import a logo into the composition, so just drag and drop that in there. Then we make a new solid. Make sure it's comp size, you know, all that stuff's good, okay. Then we're gonna drag another logo underneath. So to get the uh silhouetted logo, come in here, go to stencil alpha for both orange solid and the top logo that looks like it just made them disappear you can't see them but they're there so next thing we're going to take mr mercury and we're going to pop it on the orange solid the orange solid and right away it disappeared that's because mr mercury is doing this doing this thing you know making the shit go out all right so we're going to start this at one second, so it has some time to breathe here. And we are going to keyframe multiple things in this. So we're going to keep it in the blob size, the blob, the death size, the birth rate, and all this stuff will be coming up later. So let's take up, let's hit U to bring up all of our things here. Now the blob size, we're going to change this to a very small the blob size birth size and the blob death size they this is how big the blobs are when they die when they are born and these are how big the blobs are when they die pretty simple pretty simple stuff so i want them to be very small when they're born so that it like that and then when they die i want them to be a lot bigger so that they take up more of the frame Okay, yeah, I think we're actually fine, right? So, when they die, they definitely have to be much bigger. Now you can play around with the sizes, use the sizes that I liked for this, but you can definitely play around with it for your liking. Okay. Okay, so essentially what I'm doing is filling up the eye with the blobs towards the end. So they're small, and they get bigger, and they get bigger again, and they fill it up. Right? So I don't want, I want to put this keyframe here because I don't want it to go from really small to really big all of a sudden. I want there to be a little break into it. So from really small to medium, and then from medium to big. Okay. And now let's go to and bring this to zero. The death size has to be zero. This can also be zero. Okay, so now they will die along as live. So they live and then they die. But they haven't died yet because. And then we have the keyframe in this, one frame. Now the birth rate is the rate in which the blobs are being born. So they really only need to be at one the whole time. Because that's pretty good. You can change it the faster, the higher it is, the more blobs there will be. But I like 
I like one, so I'm gonna keep it at one. And then at the end, it dies, turn it to zero, and they all fall off. Okay. <clears throat> so this is essentially what we have so far. Kind of what I had without any motion, right? But we have some things to change. So the animation style. Now you can look at all these styles. They're all different. Like if I did a fire, it's like some crazy shit going on here, which is pretty cool. Definitely cool. Not what I'm looking for. But definitely cool. So I'm gonna go with the direction normalized because that's more of my style. Okay. Doesn't look that great so right now because you know I don't have everything else set, but it will look great. So then I'm gonna change this to constant blobs. Right. So you're saying right now what the fuck is he thinking? But we have not changed any of these yet. So the producer here is the thing that creates where the blobs are born from. So what we're going to do is change where the producer is around the eye. So I want it to swirl around the eye. We're going to keep him that there. And now I'm just going to go around the eye with the producer every like six seconds or something about I think this is gonna be five seconds but it's fine. So here and then then you change it, it to go around the eye. So you can if you have a square logo you can make it go in a square fashion. If you have a weird shaped logo you can make it go in any fashion you want. I am making it go around in a circle because my logo is a circle. Right? That doesn't make sense to me. All right, now I'm just gonna bring us to the center of the frame. Okay. So now, I'll make all these easy ease so that it's a smooth transition. And let's see what we've done so far. All right, I like it, I like it. A little bit, it's a little better. Definitely better than it was. I think we need some more gravity in here. The gravity needs to be 1.3. Gravity is how fast it falls. Let's bring this down to 1. And let's bring the resistance up. Yeah, so let's see what that does here. All right, so I don't like that starting off like this grossness. So what I'm gonna do is go to the birth rate, bring us down to zero, and then I'm gonna go to right around here and bring it to one. Let's see what that looks like. Ha, huh. that looks much better, much, much, much better. Okay. Oh, the birth rate is 10. Huh. Interesting. We need to put ten. Let's put one. Now let's check it out. Ah, there we go. I kind of like ten though. Ten wasn't bad. Let's bring it up to even two.
And there you go. So that is how I created this effect using Mr. Mercury. Pretty simple. Not too difficult, just a little trick with the stencil alpha. And uh and you're good to go. Alright. So on the next tutorials I will be teaching you how to do some more things from this animation. Like the uh the droplet here, I'm gonna teach you how to do that. I'll teach you how to do the uh reflection and I'll teach you how to do the explosion as well. So yeah. There.